Good day, folks. Hey, this is Dr. Terry and Tom, and we're with the Metaphysical Mysteries podcast. And hey, we're just doing an update on Dana Kippel's uh, new film, Reflect. And you can find it on reflectmovie.com. Again, reflectmovie.com. And you can check out the trailer. It's going to be out. Dana, tell us when it's going to be out. Yeah, so the trailer just came out last week, but the film is coming out. Reflect will be out January 9th, 2024. Um, you can pre-order it on Apple TV right now. It will also be out on Amazon, Google Play, and Vudu, followed by most of your streaming uh, around January 20th or something like that. Now, this is a metaphysical film, so people need to know that because we're here on the Metaphysical <laughs> Mysteries podcast. So it's a metaphysical film. The girls take off on a girl's trip to Sedona. Yeah. Tell us what happens. Well, don't give it away, but tell us the yeah. scenario. <laughs> yeah. So this is a film about five women that go to Sedona to go on a spiritual obstacle course where these unknown hooded entities will be following them. And really we're trying to figure out what what do these hooded entities want who even are they what is going on in this crazy obstacle course and i think that um you know some of the news outlets have portrayed the film as the spiritual uh i think it, they called it the spiritual obstacle course from hell and it kind of was funny to me because my film is not a horror movie and they're kind of saying it is but the funny thing is it does reflect how sometimes when you do this spiritual work it does feel like you're in hell and that necessarily isn't a bad thing. And this is just about, you know, the darkness you face in yourself and others when you're doing the work that not everyone does. That's what shadow work is. It's this, you know, four dimensional dry desert of pain. But the thing is you always come out the other side of it if you go right through it. And uh, this film um, on, you know, on a bigger scale is really just to, display the feelings reflect the disconnection we're feeling in society to ourselves each other and nature and hopefully people will learn to become more curious in themselves and other people and nature through watching this film now in your in your classification is this considered a short film full length feature film what is it, you know, how, how long is it yeah, so Reflect is an hour and 24 minutes, and I would say the first 20 minutes is just like any other movie where it seems like a pretty normal movie, but once they get into the Sedona desert, things really start getting interesting and metaphysical. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Tommy, you had a question on this? You know, I'm just looking forward to it because the timing seems just right, where uh, a lot of the world seems to be evolving and thirsting for knowledge in this area, so I think you couldn't have hit it at a better time. Thank you. Yeah, what's funny I used to actually say about the timing thing is this film has been such a journey because it was supposed to come out last year and because of the strike and everything, it got pushed back. And I really think the difference between last summer and this January is even huge and incredible and in how much people are waking up to things. I think it's even been so much since then. So, I mean, you're right on the money with the timing. I think that this is the time people, you know, it's the middle of the winter. People are going in and being introspective, wondering, you know, oh, wait, I really don't feel connected to myself. And I don't feel really connected to my friends or the earth. Like, and what is happening out in this world right now? And I think, I think we're really figuring out all of us have to do the work within ourselves. I think we've learned by now with all going on in the world, we can't fix every world problem we have to start with ourselves. We can't keep hating on each other and letting division come between us. And, you know, is this the best film I'll ever make? No, I aspire to make, you know, amazing films and I, I'm learning, I'm an artist, but I think this film has so much truth in it that people will respect. And I think that I made this film as more of a mystery school for people to watch and be like, learn new information so they can go on Google and go in a uh, K-hole of Google Nest. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Now, um, okay, a couple of things. First, I will agree with you. Uh, as the great uh, sleeping prophet Edgar Casey said, know thyself. Yes. That's the first thing everybody has to do, know thyself. And that's a whole process, which is kind of what you're, what these girls are doing in the film. Yeah. So now where can people go see this? Yeah, so it will be on... They first can watch it January 9th on Apple TV, Amazon Prime, Google Play, and Vudu, V-U-D-U.com. 
And then it will also be out on streaming. I'm not sure if that will be Netflix or Hulu or Peacock or where yet. But if you go to reflectmovie.com, we will constantly update it where you can watch it. Gotcha. And for all the listeners, we're going to attach a trailer to this so you can watch it yourself. And that way, you know, you can get a little taste test of what this is all about. So yeah. fantastic. So you've got other things in the hopper coming yes. up and uh, bigger budgets and broader yes. selections of things. Is that correct? Yeah. And I, you know, I can't say much about it, but I can say that next year we plan to film. I have an amazing team that's growing behind me. Um, we've planned to film overseas and uh, I won't say where yet in public, but you know, we are talking about signing on some really amazing name talent. And I can say that the film is called Anana. It's a modern tale based on the descent of Anana, which is a Sumerian goddess and her descent into hell. And my my film, Reflect, was the first stage of De, uh, Dante's Divine Comedy. Hilariously, I haven't even read his whole thing yet. I just feel like I'm channeling the same vibe. But my, Anana is more the purgatorio state, the in-between state. Um, and it also, I will say, has to do with plasma and the metaphysics of plasma, which has a lot to also do with the in between state and right. then my future film will be you know my version of paradiso and that will be a very exciting thing that i can't say anything about yet <laughs> well and keep in mind for those who don't know dante um that's where we get the modern day version culturally uh socially conditioned version of what hell is all about and the different layers so i would encourage people to take a look at the at Dante's work. Uh, it was a bunch of plays, but ultimately there was a lot of, uh, you know, I guess, uh, I want to say cartoons, but it's, you know, hand-drawn things that reflect the different layers of quote-unquote hell. And, you know, interestingly enough, some of the religious types have really adopted that as almost oh, yeah. a given, when in fact it was not even around until, you know, the dark ages, a little last after that, whatever, whenever Dante was coming into his own. Anyway, yeah. so, uh, it all, I, no, just, I just want to build on what you're saying. It has a lot of similarities with the seven gates of hell, I think it is, or the seven chakras. Like, you know, it all started, I think, from this in, in Anana, actually, the descent of Anana, she goes through the seven gates or the seven chakras before she uh, enters there. So I think it's, it's just. I feel like the, I don't think this is just feminine. I think this is everyone, but this is the feminine way of instead of ascension, talking about descension and descending into the root of everything. And I think from there is where you can then ascend and create real change. So I think some people skipped, skip over the descent part and I have to remind people not to do that. Uh, yeah. Well, as they say, coming here to earth and uh, descending from a broad perspective, Pushing yourself, compressing, if you will, and popping into a body is a it, that's a that's a deal in and of itself. You get you a go. Cub Scout badge for coming here. This is this is tough tough school, but mm -hmm. only only the best come here. That's fact. So yeah. we know yeah. that. So anyway, okay. Well, this was just a quick update on uh, what's happening with Dana's project. So we just wanted to have everybody take a look at that and. Uh, we hope that you will, and we hope that we get a follow-up and see how this went. And then yeah. as the next one comes along, we'll be sure to get, get a hold of you and or vice yeah. versa, and we will talk about it, too, as the time goes on. So yeah. anything anything you want to leave us with? Oh, God. Um, I would say just when you're watching the movie, once again, just for all the critics out there, this is a, more of a mystery school than a movie. So just, just be open to the experience. That is... All I will say, be open to the experience. Let your judgment release and be open to what comes in. <laughs> Fantastic. Tommy, you got anything? Yeah, just like you said, be open to the experience. And if we walk away with more questions that need to be answered, then I think we hit a home run. Yeah. So Fantastic. Well, fantastic. Okay, for all of us here at the Metaphysical Mysteries podcast, we appreciate Dana coming on. I appreciate you listening. And by all means, uh, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Talk to you all later. Have a great day. Why'd you really come on this trip? I love you. I love you. I love you too. So
Frozen. She's all just up on our happy pills. We're not sinking. We're, sinking. We're not we sinking. Are sinking. Maybe these vortexes are doorways to other dimensions. I'm not down for being killed by shadow people.